This is a Wellex or Amitrol, I believe is the way it's pronounced. Uh, model number WX-250. It's a 33-gallon tank, and it was recently replaced, recently being October of 2014, as a result of my private well, the pump, uh, three-quarter inch pump, down about 160 feet, uh, short cycling, meaning it was repeatedly going on and off, and the tank would not completely pressurize. I have a 3050 switch on it, on the the tank now, the one that I replaced with. However, this tank um, was originally installed in September of 1993. And as I mentioned, I pulled it out, I believe it was October of 2014. And uh, right now it's it's July of 2015. Kept the tank around uh, before taking it to the scrapyard because I wanted to cut it in half, open it up, and see exactly what was on the inside of, of the tank. And that's exactly what I did. I opened this tank up. So let's take a look and see what's on the inside. Okay, there's the inside of the, the top portion, no, no surprises there. Up at the top you can see the, the little inlet where the tank gets pressurized. And that's right there. And that's basically all the top consists of. But what I was really curious about was the bladder. I've heard so much about, about bladders in these tanks and I wanted to see what exactly happened because this tank uh, was diagnosed by myself as being defective. I originally thought it had a blown or damaged bladder and, and, uh, and that's why I replaced it. However, when I opened it up, I was quite surprised. Now, let's take a look. Right there at the bottom, you can see the bladder. And actually, there's nothing wrong with it. And you can see, I'll even touch it, you can see it's still somewhat flexible. And when the tank fills up, the bladder comes up this way. And this is all rubber on the inside. This is the bladder. And it's still very much intact. So the bladder would fill up and the tank would be charged. Now, so that kind of defeated what I originally thought the problem was. However, when I did take the tank apart, I noticed something that really clued me in on, on the problem. And that was actually right there. And I don't know if you can see it or not. It's in one of my other videos. But right there, you can see the inlet pipe. 90 degree, where is it here, All right there, 90 degree pipe with some PVC, PVC adapter still on it, couldn't get it off, but on the inside of that PVC, if you can see it's completely clogged with rust and sediment, which actually is the reason for the, the tank's failure. Now this tank, uh, as I mentioned, was installed back in September of 1993 and it, it was replaced in October, I believe it was October of 2014. And that makes it 21 years old. However, my house, uh, about 10, 12 years ago, uh, the the uh, township that I belong or that reside in, it's an unincorporated area of, of Chicagoland, they allowed us the opportunity to connect to city water, which was Chicago water, great water, and they gave us a double bonus and, and that included us uh, keeping our private well, which I, which I uh, absolutely love because I have two sources of water. 
Um, so once again, about 10, 12 years ago, the village allowed me to connect the city water for the purposes of drinking, cooking, showering, flushing the toilets, all those fun things. And then my private well was converted to strictly landscaping purposes. So I have two sources of water in my house. Very, very fortunate. And that's what this, this tank was used for the last 10, 12 years. Strictly landscaping. And as you can see my house, I have, uh, I have uh, quite a bit of the front of my house. Quite a bit of landscaping to do. It's, it's uh, very time consuming. So uh, needless to say, uh, the tank was used a fair amount, but not as much as it would have been used if it was uh, connected to, uh, to my house and used for all of the purposes, including showering, cooking, uh, and everything else. But once again, I was very pleased with this tank, WX250. Went out and bought an exact duplicate of it with a plastic base, not that metal base, because I did have problems with that. You'll notice the paint peeling and everything. Put that tank in. I think it was uh, November-ish of last year. Uh, the tank... Uh, I think I paid 400 bucks for it, as I recall, something like that. The replacement tank, put it in myself. Uh, not a very difficult thing to do uh, for someone who is partially mechanically inclined. And uh, have used it, have been using the tank ever since. Um, love their product, love Wellex. Um, have it in a couple of my other relatives' homes and they all love it, no problems. So great tank, and just wanted to show everybody what the inside of a pressure tank looks like.